Season 2 is out, and I don't know if you've seen it, but um, my question is, um, which of your characters would survive the Upside Down, and why? Which of my characters? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Demo Gorgon. <laughs> none, none of that. I mean, like, <laughs> upside Down. You can put L in there, uh, 11 in there. You didn't even find it. Eleven, yes. Um, Chase Collins. Chase Collins. <laughs> That's amazing. No, I was gonna say like Lance Tucker. Would, like, like someone would be like, oh, this guy is so annoying. We, we should just like keep him around for entertainment value. Like, let's figure out a good way to get rid of him. So he may stick around because of that. I don't know. That's a tough question. And I've yet to see the second season. Oh, you haven't seen the second season. You slow. <laughs> I don't mean I'm it. I'm my show. I was gonna say, I defended you, Beth. What happened? You <laughs> sure? don't mean that in a mean way. No, I told you the same thing. I love you. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. Um, first off, I would just like to say thank you for how interactive and outspoken you are about helping your fans through mental health problems, and that's just, that means so much. <laughs> My question is, really, how did you transition from playing Bucky Barnes in the first Avenger to this complete 180 to the Winter Soldier in the Winter Soldier? Again, I mean, it was just, it was the comic books and like going back and, and reading the comic books and, and trying to figure out, you know, there was, he didn't have a lot of dialogue in the script, so it was, it was just really trying to figure out a way that he could have, you know, um, been, a, been a threat to, to Captain America and stuff. And, and so um, I just ended up, you know, kind of going over the comic books and watching a lot of movies and trying to things that I, that I liked that other actors did in other films. Like, I just was trying to get ideas left and right, and um, that's kind of like when, you know, him walking a certain way, and certain things kind of came to me, and, and so on. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I can't get up. Hello there. I guess you know that I'm the sister of, not the brother of uh, <laughs> Bethany. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I got a question that might seem a little crazy, but are you a gamer? Any Am I chance? a gamer? Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I, I think I was at one point. I mean, I, you know, I started out with uh, Warcraft 2. That was like what I was obsessed with. Like, I was playing that all the time, and then, you know, I had like... You know, I'm definitely a lot older. Like, I, I had, you know, Sega Genesis and, like, Super Nintendo and all those things. And then, and then Super Mario Kart. Like, I was, I was doing, you know, I was looking at a, those, those uh, games. And then I was playing Medal of Honor for a while when I was in college. And then I kind of dropped off and the planet of the Earth, uh, you know. Uh, so I haven't really, like, all the games became so complicated to me. Yeah. Now when I look the at second them, question, are you, what is your favorite car on... What do you get it? My favorite car? Yes, car brand or car? Car. Yeah. Probably Jaguar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. Jaguar is the yeah, car that I mean, it's up there. It's up there. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it is up there. But uh, that was probably my favorite car. Nice, nice. Thank you. I'll go. Hello. Hi. What was your favorite uh, moment uh, working on a TV or movie set? Favorite moment? Yeah, just any favorite moment from working on one? Maybe Robert Denny Jr. trying to crack me up when the camera was on me. Um, <laughs> That's the most extreme thing that he's done to try to make you laugh. He would make these faces at me sometimes like... <laughs> like, he'd be, you know, I, I don't know, he would just, he, you know, he would just try to make me laugh. But uh, that's a really, really hard question. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I, I have to really think about that um, favorite moment. I can't um, get up, honey. You know, I, 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 I think, I think like when you wrap a movie and, and, and um, you know, there's that thing where somebody says like, 
all right, and this is a picture wrap for someone. So, like, you know, there's that moment, it's very sad, but it's also like a really good moment sometimes because, like, everybody comes up and hugs you, and, you know, and so maybe that, maybe those moments. That's not, I mean, it's very honest. Yeah. It, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, hi. My name is Emily, and I just want to tell you that you are an amazing actor. We're so glad you're here. And my question might be a little strange. Uh, it's a question that someone asked me on my birthday a couple weeks ago. Um, what is your favorite part of existing? So, uh, wait, lay down on the couch so that way you can really uh, get this uh, I want to know who asked you that. Figures. Wow. <laughs> Probably wondering himself. Right. <laughs> Herself. <laughs> Herself. Um, my favorite part of existing, you know, I never, ever, ever thought I would say that when I was in high school, when I was in college even. I hated like having to go somewhere and having to learn something. Like I like it was a have to. But I'm telling you, like the older I got and when I got out of school, all I all I realized I I, I really wanted was was to go back to that when I had an opportunity to learn something, like, and, and, um, and that's it, it's never gonna stop. No matter how old you get, you know, you, you, you either, you always have the choice, like, learn something new or not, or whatever, but we're constantly learning things every day, you know, like, about ourselves, and so, we might as well just learn to enjoy that, I guess, you know, because we're gonna have to do it. So maybe that, finding something new, you know, that I didn't think about before, I guess, staying curious, Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, my name is Legend. You can uh, remember that for networking purposes. <laughs> Legend? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I picked it out myself. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> and my question is, is, do you have any advice or words of encouragement for pursuing actors, directors, screenwriters who might be a little bit nervous to put themselves out there. You seem to be talking about someone in particular. Uh, yeah. yeah, you never know. Okay. You know, you just have to do it, and that's it. Like, you have to, like, really not, you know, don't spend too much time thinking how or where or who's going to see it or what if no one's going to, is anyone ever going to read it and what if they don't like it? What if I suck? Like, what do I look like? You know, any of that stuff, like, don't even... Try to rule those questions out. You might, you're gonna have them, like everyone does. And, and just like, do it. Like, just, you know, um, just start. Like, I think the thing with writing, because I always wrestle with that, is, is I just have such a hard time like wanting to sit down and doing it, you know? Like, and, and it, as soon as I just sit down and I an hour, I still did it. You know, so just, I don't know, go, like, use your phone and, and, and just go on a rant without, like, caring about what you say or maybe no one's gonna see it, but, like, do it for you and just say to yourself, like, you know what? What if someone asked me this question? And then go off on it and, like, videotape yourself and then just see, and then maybe do it, like, you know, with a character in mind or somebody that you know you imitate. Like, just do it and just see what happens. Thank you, especially because you're the one who inspired me to pursue films. Oh, I'll try and continue to keep doing that, so thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hey, y'all. Thank you, St. Louis, for having me here. It's been nice to be back. I'm originally from Chicago. So, you might have been in my line. I'm the burrito-wanting line girl, so I'm very disappointed in all of you for not bringing me one in a latte. <laughs> Dang, you're amazing. <laughs> right back at you, babe. All right. You and me can go get some drinks anytime. Maybe I will. So mine's more like a personal request, and well, maybe it's not my personal request, but I gave you a t-shirt earlier today. I'm that volunteer. Sorry. Okay. And I forgot to take the picture with you holding it, and my friend who is, uh, I guess he's a graphic designer. He created it himself. And he just wants to know if you could like put it on your Instagram, that'd be nice for him. Okay. I'm sorry. I will look for this t-shirt. Yeah. I was that, you know, little weird chick in the corner letting people out of here. Got it. Alright. 
Thank you so no much. Worries. And you're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she meant. That was like a whisper out of Stranger Things. It really was. <laughs> From the upside down. Hello. Hi, um, I was wondering if you had a chance to be any Marvel character, who would you be? Not Winter Soldier. Not Winter Soldier, yeah. Winter Soldier. I mean, I think Hawkeye is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. And, you know, I mean, I think Jeremy Renner is an amazing actor, so that... God, I mean... I think Chris Hemsworth might be one of the funniest people we've ever been graced, graced with on the planet. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, um, yeah, maybe Hawkeye, I don't know. Maybe that would be cool. All right. Thank you. I'm that guy. Last question. So, they gave me the signal. I have to do it. Uh, hi, I'm Kat. Um, so, two questions. You can do the less complicated one first, probably. Um, if you could play any DC character, who would you play? No. Mark Hamill. I can't do the can't. I mean, you had two of the most. That's fair. You can't, you know. Um, no. <laughs> Say Harley Quinn. <laughs> No, I told you, my favorite DC character has always been the Riddler, and honestly, I would not know. But it's such a crazy, crazy character. Like, I, yeah, I, I, maybe that one. And my second question is, um, what's the funniest shows or movies that you've done? If it's not the bronze, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Um, I, uh, you know, it would probably have to be, um, you know, there's a really great blooper reel with Anthony Mackie on the Infinity War. I mean, just any, <laughs> try to keep it together with him. Like, always turn to him and be like, Mackie, if we were in a real f like, look, you know, it's just so, maybe anything with him. What's yeah. the last thing? Um, so, I'm... I decided a while, a little bit ago, that I want to pursue acting as a career in the future, and you are one of the people who kind of... And I'm only a freshman in high school, but that's... It's still kind of just been on my mind, trying to get my... Like, what I want my future to be. And you're one of the people who kind of... Kind of, like, guided me, pushed me towards going with acting. That's awesome. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Good luck. Where's the world, St. Louis? Make some noise. Get on. For Sebastian Stan. Real quick, fans, while you are up here, how about we get a quick photo? Let's do this. Now, I need y'all to have that mad energy, okay? We've done good so far.